my friends, it's Heather, the Butterfly Effect Plant-Based Weight Loss. And today is a Wednesday, and that makes it weigh in Wednesday. And this is actually Wednesday. <laughs> and so that's the day I come on here and I make a video and I check in on, I excuse me, I weigh in on what's going on on the scale and I weigh in on what's going on in my life. And this week, uh, my weigh-in has me kind of bummed out. I'm not going to lie. It's crazy. It went I the scale put on 10 pounds this week. And <laughs> I say the scale put it on, I put it on. Obviously, I put it on and then I got on the scale and the scale was up 10 pounds. But there's no way I hate it when this happens cuz I'm committed to being honest with you. But there's no way I can say what I think is going on without it sounding like an excuse. So I know exactly what happened. I got some hormonal things going on. I got, um, I made some saltier choices as far as I really like Hearts of Palm. And they're in a can and they're salted. And I've been eating a lot of Hearts of Palm. I've been eating other like canned vegetables, which is weird for me, but um, just was craving them, craving like canned beets, no sugar or anything, but they have salt. Anyway, um, yeah, I know that I put on, I'm put on a lot of water weight. My shoes almost won't fit. This happens to me every once in a while. I don't get too excited about it because if I freak out about it, it's dumb because it goes away the next week. But it always sounds like an excuse. And so if you want to believe that I ate enough to, how much, what would that be? I guess it would be, I ate an excess to gain 10 pounds in a week. I would have had to have eaten an excess of 30,000 calories. So... I'd have to eat additional 30,000 calories on top of whatever my basal metabolism is. <laughs> and and any extra calories that I burned exer you know, exercising or activities of daily living. So anyway, it's water. I'm not going to freak out about it. It does annoy me and it does make me feel, I just... I'm just not feeling that great. Um, my head hurts. I'm hormonal. Um, but I am excited about Christmas. I'm excited mostly because I get some time off. And I really want to do some introspection. It's I'm a little bit down because today was the day I was supposed to be... Well, not today. Yesterday was the day I was supposed to be on the road. Um, I was going to drive to my family member that um, moved out of state and I decided not to because I just wouldn't feel safe. There's no safe way for us to gather right now and I want to be safe. Uh, too close to the end to mess it up now and I also want to keep other people safe. So there's that. Um, well, what we're having for Christmas dinner. So today is Wednesday. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. And Friday is Christmas. Um, and for Christmas dinner, we are actually getting sushi. There is a compliant sushi place here in town called Akira. And they have four different kinds of vegan sushi that fit into my plan. Um, they have one that's called Super Vegan that I really love. That's uh, brown rice and sweet potato and avocado and is it carrot or cucumber? I can't remember. But anyway, it's really good. And we really love um, sushi and I love the idea of not cooking. <laughs> So I want this to be, you know, truly a time of 
rest and reflection. So gonna gonna make that, gonna make for my son, I don't eat this, but he really likes vegan pigs in blankets. So you use fake vegan breakfast sausage. He, we, he likes field roast um, breakfast sausage. And then I make vegan pancakes, which again, I don't eat flour, but my son is 25 and healthy and is more of a starch solution vegan. Um, he eats low fat, but as a special treat, he's going to eat some, some of that field roast sausage for breakfast and literally like two links because we take two of those little tiny, they're links this long and then wrap it in a pancake. <laughs> in a vegan pancake and that's like a special treat. So that's special breakfast. My mom always made Christmas super special when I was a kid. My mom and dad, I should give my dad credit too. Um, they, it was, we didn't have a lot of money. And so it was really the time when we got the things that we needed as well as things that we wanted. and. The food was always amazing, and it was a time when um, I actually got to spend a lot of time with them because they were off work, and they both worked in like retail industries, so before Christmas, they'd be so, so, so busy, and then they'd have that day off, and I'd get my mom and my dad for that whole day, and my sister. And it was just really special. And when my kids were little, it was still really special. It was probably even more special. It was so magical. Um, and probably just everything that's going on, but I'm just missing them. Missing family that's moved away. My sister's moved away. Other people in my family have moved away. Um, so, so lovely that I have my Joe. <laughs> my awesome boy. Um, here with me. And so many lovely friends. So I'm very blessed. This can be a hard time of year for a lot of people. Usually I really love Christmas. This has been a really hard year and I'm ready for it to get better. What do you guys think? I think it has to get better in 21, right? It has to be. So I'm ready for some fun in 21. <laughs> when I think of all the things that we put on hold this year. Um, it makes me think of dreams that I still have to do. Um, one of the things I wanted to do was visit Thailand. And I have a really lovely friend from work um, who actually used to, once upon a time, she was a travel agent. She had a travel agency before the internet kind of made everybody want to make their own travel plans and not use travel agents and so she knows all the cool places and she still has lots of great connections and she's just done a ton of traveling and she's someone I get along with really well and I just really genuinely like and so we're going to go we're going to go to Thailand at some point obviously when it's safe you know when it's safe to travel um, but I would, I'm really excited about that. That was something that was maybe going to happen this year. Um, and so that I want that to happen. I want to go to New York City and see Broadway shows when they're back. I want to support that industry. And, um, you know, all of this has really made me come to the conclusion that like, don't pass up opportunities. It's, you know, I think about all the things I put on hold because I wanted to wait until I was thinner to do them. 
or I just was like, when I get slim, I'll do that or I'll do this. And, um, I'm, I'm done doing that. <laughs> I'm showing up. Um, I'm showing up and I'm going to be there for all of it. And I also know that the th what's really important is all the people. And so if I have to travel to get to the people, I will get to the people. Um, because it's the relationships and the hugs and all of my wonderful Portland vegan friends that I get together with. And well, a lot of them are in Vancouver and we always used to go to the beach house. Um, we'd go to a beach house and we'd have like a retreat and do uh, compliant potlucks and just hang out with each other. And um, I miss that, I miss that so much. So this year I'm grateful so grateful that for my health I'm grateful that I'm almost good as new from my surgery that happened this year I'm so grateful my son is is with me and that my son is well and my friends are well and I've only had one person well two people um who have been affected by COVID and they're both okay you know praying that they are okay. So there's a lot to be grateful for. I have a home. I have a good job. I don't take that for granted. I know there's so many people that are hurting, so many people that are worried about the bills right now. Um, trying as hard as I can to step up for them. And I know what's going on with the struggle for equality and uh, uh, I feel so much, you know, I feel so much for them, for, for all of them. And I want to be part of the solution. I want to educate myself and I just want to be an ally for all of them. And so that's where my head is. It's all over the place right now. It's all over. It's like, all the ornaments on the Christmas tree and all of the different stories that are in my head right now, all mixed together with like a little relief that this year is gonna be over. So I wish you a super Merry Christmas if you celebrate, happy holidays, whatever those look like. Um, I'm not freaked out about the 10 pounds. I know it'll go the same way it came. And I'll be down next week or the week after, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it. There, it's a beautiful life. There's too many good things. I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, I'm just, I'm just counting every blessing and my heart is really full and kind of all over the place. That's sometimes that's where you are and it's it's okay to not be okay. <laughs> it's okay to feel whatever you feel. So I'm having I think that's it. I think I'm having all the feels. And one thing I feel is a huge amount of gratitude for all of you. Your comments week after week and the people who reach out to me and the people who show up for me in my Facebook group. All of you make my life so much infinitely better. And I'm so grateful for you. I love you all. And I wish you very happy holidays. Until next time.